what is up guys flux edge here and today i'm going to be showing you how i made god rays just like this and just like my last video in the scene through a window now this might not necessarily work the best way anywhere else but for sure this is how it works within a room and through windows and through glass and whatever else you may want to do within an interior so this is how i do it let's start with a new scene and get this started so i'm going to go ahead and refresh this i'm going to make a floor that's my floor i'm going to make a floor i'm going to make a cube I'm going to drag this cube up by holding shift until it sits on top of this plane. Then I'm going to go ahead and change my display to Gorad shading lines. I'm going to go on the cube and change the segments to four. We're going to model a quick little scene here. I'm going to go ahead and hit C to make this an editable cube. Go to polygon mode, click on these two cubes opposite of each other. Hit extrude enter by five. Then select these two, do the same thing by five. Reason I didn't select all of them at once is you may think it would do this and that's not what we wanted. So go ahead and set this back up. Now I'm gonna select all of these, hit delete. We have a little window. I'm gonna go into select, loop selection, edge mode, and I'm gonna select the four windows gonna grab my scaling tool make them a little smaller and I'm gonna move inside the room I'm gonna rotate my camera by holding alt and the left mouse button and then I'm gonna move my camera by holding alt and the middle mouse button or your wheel if you have it and if you don't know once you get into a small space like this it's very very hard to see anything without going outside the room like I keep doing so once I get inside here I'm gonna hover over this uh, zoom button and I'm gonna right click drag out that way I can stay in the room and still see the box Now I'm the problem with this mode is that it alters your perspective So it kind of disorients all the lines and it makes it look a little funny, but for the purpose of this tutorial This is what I'm gonna do So now we're gonna go ahead and make the fog so you want to go into your objects go to lights and obtain daylight I'm gonna change my settings real quick. Make a thousand samples, and that should be good. Go into the light, and then I'm gonna change, sorry, the daylight tag. I'm gonna add a fog. Click on the scattering medium. Clear this RGB spectrum under scattering and change it to a Cinema 4D Octane float texture. So I wanna click in this, change it from 0.5 to one. Go back one step. Change this to 0.9. These are settings that I use and that worked for me. Change this setting to 0.02. Go back. Now that we have this, go to main and change your sun size to 0.1. The larger your sun size, the more soft your shadows will be. The smaller, the more harsh your shadows will be. I like the harsh shadows. I think they look a lot more realistic and better. So we're gonna turn the power up just a little bit to get a little more glow in the background and now this is kind of trial and error here I'm gonna grab my Sun change it back to model mode I'm gonna drag this up so I can see it and you kind of just have to play around with this so you get it where you want it that's the wrong mode so I'm gonna turn this face the light here rotate it down a little bit and as you can see there's kind of some rays generating now there's a little more and if you really want to see this which you don't have to do this it just depends on your scene but the darker your sky the more likely you are to see your rays a little better and you can change the light of your sun color too but for now i'm just going to leave it orange and now we can play around with the sun size make it a little larger make it a little smaller do larger now I'm gonna go back into the medium tab and as you can see they're really starting to form I'm gonna turn this up just a smidge until I can start seeing those a little better if you turn up too much your whole scene is gonna get dark obviously you don't want that so thousand that's 600 that looks pretty good don't mess with any of that go back to main and if you see how the light is coming in here there's some real hard lines on the god rays if you freeze the sun size they'll start to become softer 
and more blown out. If that's the look that you want to go for, then by all means do that. But I like to keep them sharp, like I said before. Rotate the sun maybe a little more towards us and the camera so the light will be a little stronger. And as you can see, they're really, really coming in now. And uh, that's basically it for how to make some basic god rays in Cinema 4D and Octane. And if we let this render out here, it'll start getting sharper and you can see that. And this is all going to be sample, so it's, it's pretty uh, dithered in here, all these little dots. The more you turn up your samples, the better it's going to look. I think I rendered my last scene with the uh, trees. Let me see if I can find it real quick. This one, um, I'm pretty sure my samples were around 6,000 and the way I had it the, with the tree and everything in front of it, you can see there's even more detail within the god rays. It's coming up from here too. I did have a hole in the ceiling as well that light was coming through. So it's all about your light sources and where they come in. And this shadow right here, you should have that in your current scene if you made it like this. All right, let's see, rotate this around. Yeah, you still have shadows over there. So it's just all on how you set up the sun and how you set up your scene. And you can get a cool look from this. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.